In this video, you will learn how to do remote access to an Allen Bradley Slick 500 PLC over DF1. The Slick 500 PLC connects serially to the E1 hardware using the Allen Bradley DF1 cable. The E1 hardware makes an Ethernet connection out the WAN port to the talk to them uh, cloud service. The programmer makes a connection to the talk to them server using the eCatcher software. Then the VPN tunnel is established making a connection from the RSLogix 500 software to the Slick 500 PLC allowing the programmer to program and monitor the Slick 500. Here we have already made a connection with eCatcher to the talk to them account and we have made a physical connection to our E1. By clicking on the IP address shown up here, we can open up Internet Explorer and go through the configuration. We need to type in the username and password. We go into the configuration and then IO server config. And from the IO server, let's select DF1 and we click on edit. Here we want to set up the COM setup in this case for 19.2 for the baud rate, CRC, full duplex, uh, no handshaking. When you do make changes, make sure you click on the update config button down below. This takes care of the RS-232 DF1 connection. Now if you click on system setup and communication, network connections, ethernet, and Ethernet 1, the LAN side, here we see the IP address of the E1 hardware. If we look at Ethernet 2, the WAN port, we can see that it's been set up via DHCP. So clicking back on the LAN port, we need to utilize the IP address 192.168.0.1 because inside of RS links as we configure the drivers we want to configure an Ethernet driver and use that IP address here in the list. Upon doing that then you can do an RSU and browse over Ethernet and here we find the Slick 500. Now here's the actual E1 hardware making an Ethernet connection to the talk to them service at the WAN port. We have DF1 via the serial connection going to our Slick 500 PLC. In this case, this is a Slick 504. All right, we have an input card here and where we have this proximity switch wired to it. All right, going to the RSLogix 500 software, we go communications, system config, or system comms, and we'll go browse out. Here we do see that Slick 500, we can go online. And I'm going to open up the input data table. And we're going to go down to the last entry. All right, I want to zoom in up on the PLC up here. And I'm going to use my screwdriver to flag the prox and then we can see that it's actually input number 10, input bit 10 and that's also what is talking inside of our input data table. So this is how you do remote access to an Allen Bradley Slick 500 PLC over DF1.